In this short video, we're going to talk about some geometric objects called cylinders. So like many things in this class, we're seeing words that we've been using since elementary school, but used in a very different context. What we learned a long time ago was that a what we called a cylinder is really only a very special case of a cylinder. Specifically, it's called a right circular cylinder. And we'll still be referring to them, but we'll be calling them circular cylinders uh, appropriately. We have a more general definition for cylinder in this class. And it's a little confusing to read it at first. It's a surface, so let's make sure we understand that. And it consists of all lines or rulings, which are parallel to a given line and passing through a given plane curve. For example, here I have a parabolic cylinder. So all of the rulings are these blue lines and they're all parallel to the y axis. And the, uh, I've only shown a few of them so we can kind of get a notion of what this looks like. Obviously, there's an infinite number of them all along the surface. They're running parallel to the y axis. And the yellow parabola is the plane curve. So you can kind of think of your plane curve as maybe your front view of this. And the rulings then are what run along the surface. So let's look. So we don't have just circular cylinders, but we can have a circular cylinder. Now, one thing I want you to notice about all of these equations, which give us a hint about when we have the equation of a cylinder versus some other type of surface, is that the equation of a cylinder only has two variables, even though the object itself is a surface that resides in space. So if I want to match this equation, z equals sine x, well, I'm looking for something that looks like a sine wave. And the only thing that looks like a sine wave here is graph d. So I'm going to match z equals sine x with graph d. The second equation is z squared plus x squared over 4 equals 1. That is the equation of an ellipse. And the axis of the ellipse is the y-axis. So here we have an ellipse so this is an elliptical cylinder. D we would call a sine wave cylinder. And so this is A. X squared plus Y squared is a circle, so we still have circular cylinders. The axis is going to be the Z axis. Notice that the axis is the letter that's missing. Here I had Z and X. The axis was the Y axis. Here I have x and y, the axis is the z-axis. And so this matches with b. And by process of elimination, this has to be c, but let's see why it makes sense. This is a hyperbola. And the axis of the hyperbola is the z-axis. So here, remember, hyperbolas have two branches. So we actually have two surfaces making up this cylinder. And so that matches with C. And that's all it is for cylinders. We have to look at another type of surface in the next video, quadric surfaces.